Hi, you guys. Hello, hello, hello. So we're all gonna slowly start logging in right now. Today is whale shark theme, which I'm really excited about. So we are going to wait 10 minutes for everybody to slowly log in and then we'll eventually get started. But today's theme is whale shark. This is our fifth virtual paint class with Coco Nene Hawaii. I added Hawaii. <laughs> um, we are excited because we're actually going to have us just two more classes coming up and today we're going to let you guys pick which themes we're going to do for our next two classes. I did paint um, six themes or five themes, six, two different styles um, or a mermaid towel with two different looks to it. So we can choose that soon. Uh, so everyone keep logging in. We're not going to get started right away. No rush and logging in part. But again, we're doing well shark today. Little, little, little. And it's only, uh, you only need four colors. So your primary black color, the white color, the teal color, and the blue. So take your time in logging in. I'm going to place this down. And then we're gonna show you guys, these are our themes we can choose from. I just, uh, we just got them made this past weekend. We have a sunflower, our shave ice, the peacock, two different types of mermaid tails. I know a lot of people were mentioning they wanted to do a rainbow, so I added the rainbow inside the mermaid tail, and then um, jellyfish. So you guys can go, you can only choose two themes, and if you say mermaid tail, you have to say you either wanna learn the, um, the green one or the rainbow mermaid tail to kind of clarify which one you like better. But again, it's gonna be shave ice, the sunflower, peacock, jelly, mermaid tail. Only two themes will be picked for our last two virtual paint classes with Coco Nene. And definitely leave it in our comments, let us know. Also, let us know where you're coming from or you're painting from. Um, love to hear where you guys are logging in from today and who's joining us. We are going to get started on the whale shark in a couple minutes. So take your time logging in, but um, would love to know where you guys are logging in from and leave us a comment below. Uh, also, share your paintings with us. I know that um, I have a handful of people, their pages are on private, so they uh, DM'd me on Instagram. I can't see it if uh, your page is on private. So you can either hashtag and DM us it or um, take your page off private just for the day when you tag us so we can kind of see it and repost it for you. We'll try to start reposting a lot of the paintings on um, mine and Coco Nene's page to see everybody's finished result. Uh, last week's Diamond Head painting was amazing. I got a lot of messages on that and everyone did really good. I had some um, people kind of spend a little bit longer on their pieces and it turned out really nice, like way nicer than the sample. So it was great, super great. So we'll get started soon, you guys. Again, today's theme is the whale shark. We are only gonna be using four primary colors. We have white, we have a soft blue. So if you have any kind of, this is a Caribbean blue, but if you have any kind of like softer light blue, that's the color you wanna use. And then we got bright blue and some black. So the black and white's gonna make our nice little gray tones right here. Background we just did with that soft blue. And we're gonna get started soon. So, what time do we have right now? It is 2.04. 2.04, okay, never mind. Wait, Ooh, couple a couple minutes. minutes. See, we've got people joining us from Kaneohe. Perfect! San Diego. Awesome. A couple of different people from California. Nice. I N. is that Indiana? I think so. Uh, 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 Washington, Canada. Cool. And awesome. I think I saw Croatia. Wow. Very cool. This is our theme today. We got the whale shark. Here's a sample outline of just the body and then the background. But these will be your colors, your primary colors. I'm gonna go grab uh, a pencil and eraser. So make sure you have a pencil and eraser and then your little six by six canvas and a paper plate or whatever you're using for your palette. I'll be right back and grab some pencils. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. okay, you guys, we are gonna get started. So again, today's theme is well sharp. 
teaching the low shark. I'm actually gonna move these little minis off real quick and I can set the sample on here. I will bring them back up at the end of our live painting today. So again, you guys can choose which one uh, and then whatever with the most votes, we will go with. And it's only two more virtual paint classes with Coco Nene. So again, let us know which two you wanna choose from. We'll bring them back out though at the very end. Um, where do you get your six by six canvas from? You can get those at any Walmart or Ben Franklin or um, the mainland has like Michaels looks like someone got them at Michaels. Oh Michaels. Yes, Michaels Michaels. Yeah, definitely Michaels Sometimes Ross has them, but they don't have the gallery wrap ones They have the really thin ones and you have to kind of extra G clay theirs because the canvas is too thin um, But I would definitely recommend I mean Walmart Michaels Walmart Suresco when it comes to cost wise, so I'd say that's the number one, and then Michael. Oh, my, Michael's is pretty good in the name, right? Yeah, it's been embracing. So, yeah, either's good. I'm gonna put these up here. Today's theme again, we're doing well shark. You don't have to use this blue for your backdrop if you want to use a cobalt blue or even a darker blue than that, you can. I'm only actually going to use this one today. This is the Caribbean blue by Apple Barrel brand. You can get this at Walmart too, or Michaels. Both have them. So I'm going to start pouring our palette already right away in the beginning. We're going to use, I would say about a quarter size of the Caribbean blue. A quarter size of the white. Oops. And then black, I would say about a dime size of the black. You don't need too much. You got compliments on your hair. Thank you, Joy <laughs> braided it. <laughs> She's the best braider. I'm not. <laughs> I have to have her braid it every time. Please. Thank you. Okay, so these are my palette. Wham, bam, thank you. Three colors. That's all we needed. So I'm just gonna do a little bit. So good. Your paint for it. I'll give you guys a minute to do that. I'm gonna go place this down real fast. BRB. brushes again from Walmart they have a value pack and has a bunch of brushes in there that last a good amount of time you just have to wash them after um, I do wash my brushes every day with shampoo so I do recommend baby shampoo for your brush hair on your paint brushes and the reason baby shampoo it's super gentle with the hair it doesn't rip the bristles out as quick and they last longer so you want to keep reusing your brushes make them last a long time the value pack from um, Walmart I think they also have it at Michaels Ben Franklin is a great set to start with, especially when you start just getting in the process of painting. So, so I no dark blue. Oh, you can do dark blue in the backdrop. Yeah, I thought I looked at this sample and I I realized that it's because my brush accidentally had blue on it from another painting, so it's in the outline where it should just be black. Um, but you could bring this in. You don't have to. I actually only use three colors for this one. This one was an oops when it got into the mix, but. Uh, you can do this as a backdrop too though. This is a really pretty blue. It's still soft enough um, when you add that white in there. But if you do like a lighter blue, we are going with the Caribbean today. And then are we gonna do our drawing after the backdrop? Yes. So we're gonna do our drawing after. We're gonna just start with our backdrop first and um, let it dry for a few minutes. And then we'll bring in our pencils after and do the outline of the body on there. 
Um, what's great about it is pencil is easy to paint up. On this one, I um, did bring in these fun, messy lines until after I did my pencil work. So in case I got some pencils in the wrong area, I was already making squiggly lines through it. So it's perfect for the buildup. So we're gonna just get the back the background done first so the water's set and then we'll kind of build it up from there. So with our canvas and with your bigger size brush, so go in your cups, any of the bigger size brushes you have, with your Caribbean blue, so this gorgeous soft blue, some white. I'm going to mix it on this side so it lightens up that Caribbean blue, where it kind of looks like a baby blue, really pretty. So that's like a nice, and then this is gonna be my entire canvas. I'm talking about the whole sides, the front. We're gonna make it all this color. So this nice baby blue color. And don't be afraid to just slab your brush in that paint. Get a lot on that paintbrush. The canvas will soak it up. So you can't use too much. And if you have a lot on there, like there's a big clump there, we will just go back and forth and stroke it into the canvas and again we want to do the edges so i already ran out of paint so i'm going to again pull some more of this caribbean blue and the white make some more and then look at the sides And focus on just continue painting your canvas. You want to get the whole front and all your edges. I'm going to take my time and get the backdrop done. Oh, oh, oh. come on, turn it down. Bam, 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 bam. Back and forth, back and forth. Get my edges. So when you guys are painting, there are kind of processes of your paintings where you should spend more time in and there's, there's parts of your painting where you don't have to focus so much on detailing or just the perfection of what you wanna cover up. Um, so if you notice, I'm going quick. I'm not putting too much thought or focus on like how much is really covered. I'm just getting that nice light blue just put on there nice, you know, thick too. I'm trying to go heavy on that paint. But um, again, because I'm going to keep building up the paint or the painting, there's certain areas that at the end will kind of spend a little bit more time and I'll go a little bit slower with you so you can build it up properly. But if you kind of find me going a little bit quicker in some of the areas, it's because we don't need to spend too much time in that area. And again, if you, if you aren't on the same pace, we will definitely repost all of our videos under our IGTV on Coco Nene. And only that page, so you guys cannot find it on mine. I um, exclusively do it on their page only. So we have uh, the previous classes in case you missed one. We do uh, put everything under there. Just give us a follow on there. We also do really cool giveaways on there and um, stuff you can do voting and, uh, and reposting. So check it out as well as our products. I do carry some of my um, designs with them. So check them out i got some super cute coasters there i got all kinds of stuff so um, again coco nene on our instagram i'm still kind of adding that blue in there but if you see got my edges boom, boom. and now i'm gonna let it dry it's okay if you're not caught up i'm just gonna let this sit here and dry for a little while i'm gonna let you guys spend another about five minutes painting this just your backdrop and then I'm, I do need you to let it sit and dry for a couple minutes. Uh, if you are already done and yours is starting to dry, you can use a paper plate. Um, again, just I'm going to let this sit here. I'll put it right next to the sample so you guys can kind of enjoy and keep painting. Okay. 
and I'll come right back once we get to that next scene. So just a couple minutes, keep focusing on painting your background. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. hours ahead oh wow looks like 10 yeah we have all of our videos it's on my um or on the coco nene igtv so if you ever wanted to take any of the previous ones we just did we had a bunch of really cute ones like pineapple we had the heart wave and everything is still on there so um it's free anytime just click on there whenever you're ready you can keep watching it over and over in case you get stuck or just rewind you know so Again, it's on Coco Nene, all free, every theme that we did. And this is our fifth class. So we do have two more virtual classes after this, um, but this will be the fifth one we, we do have, and we have four posted on there. And some of the themes, like the Diamond Head theme, that was a little bit longer. So when we did the Diamond Head theme, it was two different videos. Um, I think we might have done that with another theme, but not too much longer for the second video. But some themes, are, you just have to kind of build it up or take a little bit more time. Um, this one should be about just an hour today though. What type of paint are you using? Acrylic paint. So I love acrylic paint. I actually play with all the mediums. So I do do oils, pastels, um, acrylics. I mean, watercolor, I'll play with anything, but I prefer acrylic, especially in teaching. It's nice and thick. The colors are really vibrant. Um, it does dry a lot faster um, because there's a little bit of alcohol they put in the paint to kind of dry up the pot or to help the dry process go quicker. Um, but it is all acrylic, so I prefer acrylic. And Apple Barrel is a great brand if you're just starting out and you can't afford to spend a lot of money on like the golden medium brands or certain brands that are um, a little bit more expensive to get. It's a great brand to start with. It's fun to play with because it's, it's friendly, water-based, help great for kids. Me and my son use it all the time. He's been doing it since he was a baby and he loves playing with that paint. So um, friendly, you know, for kids to so definitely get that. Even, and you can also get it at Michael's or Walmart and it's called Apple Barrel. Um, will we be able to pay for classes after the free series is finished? Yeah, I am actually, uh, I'll figure something out soon. I've had some emails about that of trying to figure out a setup to um, offer even bigger themes and different themes. So I'm trying to get something in the work. Uh, I'll share more detail when I kind of know more detail of what I want to do with that, but I definitely will try to get something going for you guys that's affordable, fun, easy to access, um, but I will definitely keep you guys posted for sure about that. So thank you for asking, I asked that. <laughs> so again, we're painting our background. We wanna finish up now and let it sit and dry. If you got a paper plate, fan that bugger down. Or if you got like a blow dryer, sweet. If you got a heavy hand, good for you. <laughs> but anything to just dry it up. You don't wanna use a pencil when it's still wet, like mine. Nope, I should not. So we're gonna let it dry for a couple minutes. Take a water break. <laughs> <laughs> Again, shark theme. All uh, so so far where we're at, just the background. That's it. <laughs> so you just need to paint it a soft blue or a bright blue or a dark. You can paint a dark blue if you really want to do a darker. It's gorgeous. Um, any blue, because that's my favorite color, is good for your backdrop. I went with a teal, because Caribbean blue is really pretty. It's still soft. You can bold it up where it's, it gets a little bit darker, but it still kind of makes the forefront focus the whale shark. So I like the lighter color with something darker as the, the focal point. So again, we're gonna wait till this dries. We'll just kind of let it sit on this as you guys are just going right now. If you wanna take a step away while it's dry, uh, drying to use the restroom or drink some water, it's gonna be a couple minutes for it to dry up before we can use the pencil. So, okay, if you're not catching up, we are almost done. We wanna, again, let these dry. And we'll get back on to working on our theme. <laughs> Oh, 
but brown, I had leftover brown paint. I, it's rare for you guys to ever see brown in my paintings. <laughs> that wasn't choice, that was just leftover paint. <laughs> doing our outline. Yours is not dry. Can you message me underneath and let me know um, if you need me to wait another minute. But it says anyone's not dry. I'm going to get a pencil. Ooh, good. You good? Okay, cool. So I'm going to show you a little sample. Sample, sample. Here is just the outline of the body. It's the most simple outline we're going to make today. It's really fun. Um, you can erase it if you don't get your lines done right, but it's a really cute, fun outline. We're going to just make the body in here. So on, pretty much I start with the corner. I free fold the drawing, so I just start with the head of the body. It kind of has more of a square forefront of the head, the front of the body of a whale shark. It looks more squarish, so if you notice... I do round out my edges a little bit right here to so have that nice square look to it. So do like a backwards C that's like square. And again, do it with pencil. I'm actually going to pull out a marker so you guys can really see it when I'm doing it. Um, but do do it with a pencil so that way if you're not happy with your line, you can hurry up and fix it. I'll get it done when I'm done. Let me just grab a marker real fast. I'm gonna use one of those uh, Posca acrylic paint markers. They're great to play with on your paintings if you like to um, doodle in markers. Okay, so we're gonna do the body. We got our backward C square. Boop. And now I'm gonna start to Take this part of the body and go right. You want to curve it right. So this was our square part, the front of the body. And then on the left side, you're going to turn it to the right. And you're going to close it out like that. We're gonna put the tail here. And then I'm gonna bring this line to the square line I made earlier. You kinda of wanna straighten it out. I'll add my arm right here because that's where I messed up. <laughs> but this is just the body of your wall shark. So we have kind of more of a backward C square is the front and then we're going to whip it to the right so the body's moving to the right. And then we're gonna close it out and connect it back to the front. Okay, so 
now we're going to add the arms. So I'm gonna put the little fins. I'm gonna do one right here because that's where I messed up, but um, probably a couple inches after the front, you wanna go down. That'll be my first one. And then I wanna match it. So I'm gonna kind of find my way to the other side. It looks like it's about right here. And I'm gonna make the second fin on my whale shark. Oh, well, wait a minute. Somebody's is not dry. Okay. I'll give it just a little speed dry quick. And then I'm gonna tell you one more time, just gonna give you a follow through. What we did was a backward C. We brought up the body to the right and we closed it out to create it back to the front of the whale's face. So we want this little shape of the body. We then wanna add the fins right after. So one, two, and symmetrical of each other. Okay, so now our next, we are gonna go and do the whale tail. These kind of remind me of uh, leaf petals I make or flower petals. So I'm gonna do one here. Think of it kind of like a teardrop too, or like a little leaf petal. And then I'm gonna bring it over the canvas. So I'm gonna carry my lines around and bring it back down. So I'm gonna keep going wherever you're at. Again, we do repost this on our Coco Nene site. Um, all your paintings are on there, so you can uh, go back and see if you need to replay it or just start from fresh. Again, we will repost it right after. We're gonna move on to the next step though. So now we're going to make a line right in the center of our well's body. So this one, I'll show you where this line's at. So right in the middle of its, my whale tail body, I'm gonna make one line and keep kind of the same motion as it's going kind of upward to the right. So it kind of has like a little curve to it, like flowing with the, the whale tail body. So just make your line and then make two fins. I did my fins backwards on this one, so it, but it looks good either way. So you can do them down or you can put them on top like this one. So this one I'll do as the sample. This one, if you accidentally went that way, we can still make it look good. Still looks good. There's no wrong way for that. So I'm gonna make my first one. Boom, boom. And then I'm gonna make the back one a little bit smaller. Boom. And again, you wanna do this with pencil. Not happy with it, you can erase it, we do it. And don't worry about pencil lines too, because we will paint over everything. And then that's our outline. That's all you gotta do. So we get to start on the paint part now, you guys. I'm excited about. We are gonna get, make sure you have black, white, and your whatever blue you did choose for your uh, whale shark painting. I'm gonna get a little bit more white because I'm out of white right now. Um, but we're going to mix a little bit of black into some white to create a soft gray color and we're going to focus on filling in the body of our whale shark. So we just want to make it that nice, super light gray color. So again, don't add a lot of black. You need very little black and it will give you that nice, soft color. Okay, so we're gonna do um, inside the whale shark's body. So what I want you to do is with our paint plate, take this white, 
Take a little bit of your black. Boom ski. Get that nice soft gray color. I want that soft, soft, soft gray color. So you want nice and light gray. That's gonna be the color of your well shark body. So focus on painting your well shark body. Nice soft gray. I'm gonna make a little bit of more.
Okay, so we are filling in the body of your well shark. Kind of get your tails done. Blah, 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 blah. Only two more minutes on this part, you guys. You're only halfway. Time to shitty paint. All we gotta do is fill in the body. Fill in the body. And I'm gonna wash off my paint from my brush. Okay, so we're just filling in the body. started on painting the black outline next I want you guys to find the smallest brush in your paint cups make sure the brush it or your paint brush is all there's no like broken bristles everywhere because once you dip it in that black and that has its own party on the side that's kind of a bummer to fix so make sure the bristles are nice and straight and fresh they're not um hemorrhaging yeah yeah <laughs> just one of them is less like I'll show you guys a good example it was kind of like the last one I was just using um, you see how like it's having a full party, like on the sides. So the black will carry out in all the wrong ways when the brushes are like that. I use mine a lot, so they kind of get worn down quick, but try to find one. If not, use your scissors too. You can actually always cut that. I cut my brushes often, trim them from the edges, but do find the smallest brush you have. We are gonna use this for um, taking the black paint and doing like the outline in the body of our whale shark. So find, again, the smallest brush you do have in your paint cup. And then you're going to grab your black paint. I'm gonna move this sample away. Just put these on here. And pretty much you're just gonna first start with the outline of the body. So where the black is on this one, I'm gonna dip it into my black paint. And Maybe I should stabilize that. <laughs> I need it to be tilted more. Okay. I keep dipping it back in my black. Turn the canvas. Okay, so we're getting the outline of the body done. We're starting with the shape of the body first before we do the outline on the tail and the arms. So I'll bring this guy over here and do it again. 
So you guys take your time. I'm gonna go get my paintbrush wet a little bit. Okay, so now that we got our outline done on the body, we are going to I'm gonna put one of these down, bring up the sample. We're now gonna do the arms and the fins. So I'm gonna do the arm on my wheel shirt. So now I'm going to do the center because I just finished with the fins and the back tail. We're gonna now make that line that we made earlier with our pencil. And then we're gonna outline the top fins. I'm gonna dip it back in that black so the black's a little bit older. center done. We're just outlining the center. Next, we're going to add the gills. So, these, we're going to do three on each side. So, keep focusing on the center. Let's get that done for the top fins, and then we're going to add the gills after, and it's going to be three on each side, and kind of more of the forefront of your whale space. You guys, as you're focusing on that, I'm gonna peek over at my child, make sure he's not touching anything. Oh. <laughs> so go ahead and work on that. So keep taking your time. We're doing our will outline. I'll give you guys a couple minutes for that.
So again, we are just doing the outline of the body. We will again repost this on our Instagram IGTV after. If you miss any parts, we'll be back on there showing you, but we wanna just get the top fin done. And then now we're gonna add in the gills. So with that small brush we're still using, I'm gonna dip it into this black paint I have. And then I'm gonna do three on each side. So starting on the left side, gonna by the arm, do three. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So three and three. And take your time. Three on each side. Okay, so now we are going to do all of our dots inside, which I absolutely love doing. We're gonna wash all this uh, black paint off our paintbrush now. You only just need your white paint. So if you have a little bit of white paint left, great. If you don't, right now is the time to re-pour and add more white paint if needed. I'm gonna go wash the black paint off my paintbrush and I'll be right back and go grab some more. Again, we're working on the outline. We got the heels done, so there should be three on each side. And then next will be the dots. I got the white paint. I'm gonna start doing some dots. Again, let's take the uh, black off your paint brushes. Let's wash it off in your water cup. If you wanna just get a new brush out, you can do that too. We want to start with doing dots in the forefront of our well shark. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna lay this flat now because I don't want my, I like to do my dots heavy. I use the back of the paintbrush to create my dots makes it nice and thick and textured on your canvas. Um, you wanna do it flat though, so it doesn't like your, <laughs> your dots don't start looping around and it turns into a nice blob. So I'm gonna lay this flat. We'll do something that's kind of zoomed in up close and we'll kind of keep it on the painting. dot time so again the back of the paintbrush is what we're going to use grab our white paint just on the back of the paintbrush and the start I'm going to do it on the front of my whale and I'm going to kind of try to stay close to it and I'm going to keep re-dipping it in I probably have to dip it every two to four dots back into the paint so kind of follow that outline you did with the will on the front of it and just keep adding dots. Again, I probably can get only about two to four dots without re and then I have to re-dip it. Also, just to let you guys know, the video will be over in six minutes, but we'll carry it over to another um, live video right after that one to finish our paintings. Again, six minutes, if it cuts you off, log right back on in and we'll be back. 
and continue painting. The dots do take a little while. It's pretty relaxing to do. What I like about the sample painting too, there's some dots that are bigger in the back. I like that. I don't like all my dots to usually be even. This one's turning out pretty even. So I'm gonna start making some a little bit bigger. Like that one actually had more paint on it, which was perfect. That's what I needed. So we're just focusing on doing our dots. And as you guys are working, let us know if you have any questions. Again, I'm just adding the dots. We're adding dots in here. Boom, boom, boom. Even, uh, I want you guys to also add them into the fins on the arms as well. So I'm gonna keep adding some more in there. We got four minutes before the video cuts us off, but I'll log right back in after, and we'll continue going. Only four minutes before it cuts back off, but we're still painting the dots. Hi, you guys. Hi, hi, hi. Waving back, but like, I don't have a free hand, but I'm waving in my head. <laughs> thank you for joining us even if you're just watching we really appreciate it love teaching these live classes with coco nene just dotting away Having a dot party. You can see it. You want to come see it? So when I'm doing these dots going across, now especially in the back, I want you guys to notice I'm doing it straight. I want you to follow your, your dot lines kind of straight as you go further back. If you didn't, no big deal. If you get plenty of dots back there, you can, can't tell. <laughs> Keep going. Dun dun dun. 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 Dun dun So for anything with time-lapse videos. 
No one knows because you sit so fast. <laughs> Probably 50 times you've been there. <laughs> it's so quick. <laughs> so we're Adam in the towel. Oh, man. Let's keep adding more dots. You want to put it into the fins, the towel. We got 30 seconds, you guys, just a heads up. We will be logging back in right after. Keep focusing on your dots. Oh yes, we'll come right back on. So if you're missing anything, we will be back on. Okay, we're logging back on now. Working on our motion. <laughs> Woohoo! We're back. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so still keep working on your dots. Still doing our dotting action. We're back, we're logging back in now, but I'll just kind of leave it on here, you guys, so you know that we're still kind of going with the dot process. We will, we just posted the previous one we just taught to on our IGTV already. So after we're finished with this one, you can log back into that one. But we are focusing on dotting it up. So we want our well shark to have dots on it. I use again, the back of the paintbrush to do all the dotting. But take your time. I know we're all slowly logging back in. Hello, hello. Uh, there's only two more uh, paint classes, virtual paint classes we have coming up with Coco Nene. I will know later uh, more details if I offer more paint classes, but just for now there only will be two more. And at the end of this painting, I'll have you guys do a vote one more time. Boom, boom, boom. And again, we're working on the well shark. So if you're still focused on the dotting, don't worry if you're still going. We're all slowly logging back in. Oh, hey, girl. Hi, Dynasty. I'm so close to the speaker when I say that. It's so loud. <laughs> so now we're logging back in. Keep focusing on getting all of our dots. Yes, I will slow down for this one. And again, if you know, if you guys are painting kids too, you can always go back to the video after and to rewatch it and to slow it down from there. We do have a time limit with this, so we can't go past that. But again, it will be available for free on the IGTV Coco Nene on their page. But take your time, kids are still dotting. We're gonna go a little bit slower right now. Just have them focus on just getting all the dots put inside of your whale. You want the arms, you want the whale tail. Zibati. Have you guys focus on that. You're welcome. And so again, we are doing dots again on our whale tails and on the arms and just in the front. You want there to be dots everywhere. You carry it over too if you need to on the sides. <laughs> so is my son, he's the same. He's the same. It's like a turtle and peanut butter. You know? <laughs> he's in the room with me, so I can't say I can't say anything. <laughs> You're not, no, you're so quick, Boho. You're so fast. He's Thunderbolt. Well, that's why my fish cord died. Oh, that's the fish cord. Yeah. 
Okay, so our next spot we're going to do, you guys, we're going to add little soft white lines in our well shark. So we're gonna have some white here, some little soft lines throughout your painting. So I haven't done anything yet since our new live video started, just a heads up, you guys. So no worries if you just got back on or you're thinking, what are we doing now? What are we doing now? Um, we are going to start right now with a small brush. So any of your smaller brushes you have, we're gonna make these soft little white lines inside your well shark. And I put a little bit in the back and I put a, a few in the front. So again, now everyone's still slowly logging in. We're gonna get started right now. We're gonna do a little bit of these soft white lines in your well shark with a smaller brush. So I'm gonna place this sample down. This is the one I've been working on. I'm gonna dip it into my white paint. I'm going to start making these soft lines starting from the back. And don't press down too hard. You want it to be really soft when you're going through. So just the, the ends of the brush barely. So just a few of them in the back, a few in the front. I still have a little bit left over on this brush. I'm gonna to try to rub some of it off on there. So again, just a few of them throughout your well shark, a few soft white lines. I'm gonna take the same brush, dip it back into the white paint I have. And so the start, like by the face area, I'm gonna start making some wavy lines down with this, this paint, the white paint with that smaller brush we have. So I'll show you. And then I'm gonna dip it again into the white paint so it's nice and thick. You do wanna space them out. So I want you guys to take the white paint with a smaller brush and start making really fun wavy lines in the back. If the kids are having um, more texture or more lines in the back, that's even better. So any parents painting with your kids, let your kids do their own thing. If they like more lines, let them go for it. I was like that as a kid. I probably a million lines when my grandpa tell me to do too. Do a lot of fun squiggly lines with the white paint. Dip it back into the white paint and do some more squiggly lines. So take your time. If you're logging back in, we will post this video after in case you're um, missing any steps and you can rewatch it on our live IGTV on Coco Nene. So just doing softer lines through here. And I'm gonna bring them around the edges after. So I'm getting my edges.
And I like to hold the canvas when I'm painting my edges. We're working on doing these squiggly lines as water behind our well shark. We want to do it in the front, on the sides. So now with that, we're going to do the same thing with the same paintbrush. We want to get most of the white off. Give a paper towel, wipe that. I'm gonna now use this Caribbean blue I have just by itself. I'm gonna put it on there nice and thick. And then pretty much right next to my white lines, I'm gonna do these nice squiggly Caribbean blue waves in it. So again with the Caribbean blue, we're gonna take this smaller paintbrush and right next to the white, we're gonna make soft lines squiggling right past. I'm out of my teal, so I'm gonna go step aside and grab another teal or some more Caribbean blue. But right now, focus. our focus is taking the smaller brush. You're gonna make your, your water lines next to your well shark nice and wavy and do it right next to the white that we just did. Thank you. I just poured a lot. <laughs> more blue. You're just joining in. We do have, um, this video will be reposted on our IGTV on Coco Nene's page. If you miss anything, it'll be available on there after to catch up. But I'm taking the Caribbean blue and I'm following where I did those white lines. Sound effects in the back are my son. <laughs> if you guys hear loud noises, it's actually all crews over here. <laughs> <laughs> all good. <laughs> so I'm adding the water to the edges. You're gonna add this Caribbean blue. Right now, just take your time, paint the water lines in the back with that soft Caribbean blue, or if you have a different blue, use any blue you have, but you want it to be a little bit bolder than what we have in the backdrop and the white. So I'll let you guys take your time. Again, message me too. Let us know if you have any questions. We're still building up the water right now, so take your time just got to add in the blue watermarks and I want you to also do it on the edges.
Okay, you guys. We are now just finishing up. That was our last step was the water and behind. Thank you for joining us today for our fifth fifth paint virtual class. We are going to do one more vote before I close out the video. I will not post it or let you guys know for a few days. We kind of have to tally it up. We're going to do one more vote once the video is closed. But for today, we're going to see um, how many we get for what. We only can choose two themes, you guys. So there's only two more paint, uh, paint virtual paint classes with Coco Nene. So two more themes you can choose out of the six I made. This again is the finished result of what we painted today. It's the whale shark. We did the watermark. Okay, and now we're gonna bring you over. These are our next week's themes. You can only choose two. So I did a rainbow version of the mermaid tail. We also have shave ice in the corner. <laughs> so you love your shave ice. We got sunflower. We got Ooh. jellyfish. Ooh. Sound effects behind there. We got mermaid tail. Ooh. Peacock. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Again, we are finished up with the well painting. If you guys missed any parts of it, we do have it already posted on our IGTV, and we will post this last one as well. Um, right now, I just want to take a quick vote, which ones you guys think we should do for this next week. Um, we can only do two more paint classes, free virtual paint classes with Coco Nene. So let me know, put the votes in. These are our choices. If you do pick mermaid tail, there are two types of mermaid tail, so let us know either the rainbow one or the green one with the the scales in it we have sunflower we have shave ice we have jellyfish which is super fun to paint as well as the peacock so make a vote put it in the comments right now we'll tally it up at the end and then we'll let you guys know probably in a few days what we end up voting and going with for our next class and then we will let you know in our next class what we end up doing um Got him pretty quiet for this last hour and a half, you guys. This was a first. <laughs> um, but again, so let us know under the comments if we should do the Aloha Shave Ice, if we should do the Mermaid Tail uh, Rainbow, or the green one with the yellow and green scales, the Jellyfish, Sunflower, or the Peacock. Again, uh, two votes only. Shave Ice. Um, so whatever two you guys want to learn how to paint or do, please put in our comments. We only um, can choose two themes. So again, vote for only two of these. I know it's hard if you want to choose like three or four. If we can narrow it down, the easier it is for me to do a vote at the end. So again, let us know. Put it under the comments. And again, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Please tag us um, if your page is on private and we don't follow you we can't we might not be able to see a tag or hashtag so if you can dm us your finished results this last couple weeks i've had so much amazing art get sent to me that you guys have been doing and it's it's so fun to see it they even look better than the sample paintings i have so it's, it's amazing to see you guys in your element at home um, but again let me know these are our samples for today if you have any questions let us know tag us and we can't wait to do another paint virtual class with you guys so thank you for joining me Thanks. bye